even the nastiest villains need a place to take off their mask, unwind, and plan their next move. No, not this way! That way! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 comic book supervillain layers. Well, if it isn't Smokey the Babe, just in time to meet a biggest fan. For this list, we're looking at cool or impressive hideouts for the nefarious types that make comics fun. We're focusing on comic books, so we won't be looking at villain layers from movies or television. So those volcano layers that super spies always find themselves in won't be considered here. Number 10, Mole Man's Lair, Mole Man. Yeah, you're staying in Cavesville. Real funny, dude. Come on, let's go. The Mole Man may have a thing about conquering surface dwellers, but he keeps his own hideout safely underground. His lair is located underneath New York City, part of a planet-wide network of underworld cabins and tunnels known as Subterranea. Sometimes I wonder if they'd be better off if I just, well, disappear! As a result, he can travel almost anywhere in the world, setting up a temporary hangout wherever he goes. Now that is a big bug. As is appropriate for a man who is a brilliant, if mad, scientist, Mole Man's home is filled with monitors, computers, and all sorts of gadgets to keep the little deranged genius occupied. Mole Man, the pods were put here for warmth. What's the source? Incubation, of course. Number nine, the Ha Ha Hacienda. The Joker. Have a look around while I slip into something more comfortable. No tricks. When you've escaped Arkham as many times as the Joker has, you know that you can't afford to put down roots or you'll be found too easily. No, we didn't get the diamond. The Dork Knight showed up before we even got to the museum. Thus, the Ha Ha Hacienda refers to any number of hideouts that the Clown Prince of Crime has utilized. They are usually located in a site that has some connection to comedy or clowns, such as an abandoned circus or a decrepit amusement park. What do you say, hon? Feeling the old electricity tonight? <laughs> Joker gives them his own special decorating touches, of course, ones that fit his own outer sense of style. As you can see, I'm looking much better. In fact, ooh, I think I'm looking better than ever. Number eight, the Goblin House, the Green Goblin. You're the Green Goblin? No, uh, th this isn't my costume. I'm a cheerleader and I... Uh... Norman Osborn is a millionaire several times over, so it figures that he has a range of layers from which to plot his crimes as the Green Goblin. Whether in his penthouse apartment, his cool mansion, or his offices, Osborn has everything he needs for luxurious daily living. He also has secret rooms where he can get all goblin-y when the mood strikes him. This is where he cooks up his range of pumpkin bombs or does repair work on the trusty goblin glider. Being rich definitely has its perks. The board members. You killed them. We killed them. We? Number seven, Asteroid M, Magneto. What is this place? The leader of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants wisely selected an asteroid as his home base. Not only does this make finding him much more difficult, but sneak attacks are virtually impossible. The X-Men. Stop them! With his own ability to control metal, his asteroid is almost impossible to shoot down, so he's basically untouchable. Together we shall embark upon a wondrous renaissance. I invite you to be a part of it. Plus, how cool is it just to hang out on a friggin' asteroid? Most versions of this base boast awesome features like an observation deck, plenty of hangars for launching ships and rockets, and the latest mutant-based medical bays. This thing will alter your mind. Get out of there, please. Number six, ship, apocalypse. Early apocalyptic scholars referred to, and I quote, a mighty ship designed by creatures from beyond the stars. This layer has a life of its own, literally. Ship is a sentient hunk of architecture created by the celestials an ancient alien race that like to stick their noses into everybody else's business. Identify yourselves. Xavier was right. It is sentient. We can speak to it. It was left here on Earth to be a silent spy for the Celestials. But when Apocalypse, a heavy-duty mutant bad guy, found Ship, well, this guy just had to have it for himself. Ship is filled with lots of fancy, mega-impressive alien technology, including a cloaking device that came in very handy. Blessed with artificial intelligence, Ship is not quite like any other hangout around. Ship, you are a work of art. Thank you, Henry McCoy. 
You have no idea what a pleasure it is to interface with someone who appreciates the subtleties of my programming. Number 5. LexCorp Tower. Lex Luthor. Luthor. A guy with an ego as big as Lex Luthor's needs a hangout to match. The offices of LexCorp are in the tallest building in Metropolis. A little overcompensating going on here, maybe? Anyway. I needed a way of attracting your attention. There's always email. From LexCorp, Luther runs the legitimate business interests of his multi-billion dollar company, but he also conducts illegal scientific experiments and develops weaponry for his own nefarious purposes as well. My spies tell me that Hamilton has a piece of my rock. I'd like to know who gave it to him. Because Superman is his greatest enemy, Luther took the wise precaution of lining all of the walls with lead. Even the windows have a thin layer of lead, so no prying x-ray vision can ever peek inside. I think you have more pressing concerns at the moment. Good day. Number 4. Arctic Retreat, Ozymandias. Got a bearing on that artificial structure. Heat signature's off the chart. Light. If you want cool, literally, then there's no place that matches that description like the Antarctic. That's where Ozymandias, the hero slash villain of the Watchmen series, spoiler alert, chose to construct his stunning little lair. Named Karnak after an ancient Egyptian complex, the hideout is a massive structure that includes living quarters, servants, an enclosed atrium, a control room, and some rather interesting pets. Forgive me, girl. Karnak is the perfect place for the world's smartest man to plot the destruction, or was that the salvation of the world? Gentlemen, welcome. Adrian, we know everything. Number three, Cobra Island. Cobra. The folks at Cobra are hell-bent on world domination, and they picked a lovely little island from which to carry out their schemes. Located in the Gulf of Mexico, Cobra Island has everything a power-mad dictator could want, including a volcano. Hey, we got a volcano layer in here. All of Cobra's weapons and supplies are buried safely in the mountain, only accessible via underground tunnels. Of course, the main attraction here is a fortress called Terror Dome, which is perfect for all manner of evil plotting. Who could ask for more, except for total control of the world, of course. Your meddling brought us defeat! Again and again and again! You're not just a fool, you're Cobra's curse! Inept! Insufficient! Inexcusable! Number two, the Iceberg Lounge, the Penguin. You sure the Joker's inside? Penguin's throwing him a going legit party. The Penguin may be one odd bird, but he sure knows how to appeal to Gotham City's it crowd. My dear Mr. Wayne, I'm delighted to have you in my humble nest. Pretending to have turned over a new leaf, Penguin opens up the Iceberg Lounge, a two-story restaurant that features ice sculptures, seals, and of course a few of those big walking birds. Behind its legit exterior, it also serves as a base for Penguin's full-scale crime operations, of course. Just as Luther uses real businesses to front for his more questionable activities, the Penguin's trendy hotspot offers him protection, for a while at least. Kick over the desk. Just do it. I won't ask twice. All right, no need to get your feathers ruffled. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Castle Doom, Doctor Doom. <laughs> If you're going to commit evil on a massive scale, it helps if you have diplomatic immunity. As the ruler of the country of Latveria, Victor Von Doom can be just as evil as he wants with fear of only limited reprisal. The Quinjet survived the initial assault, but is now retreating out of Latverian airspace. The seat of the Latverian government is Castle Doom, Victor's ancestral home. With 110 rooms, there's space for everything a dictator could possibly want. Having been built in the 16th century, it's full of medieval comforts, as well as one of the most state-of-the-art laboratories in the world. Located high atop a mountain and protected by Doom bots, Castle Doom is a supervillain's dream home. You are trespassing on Latverian soil. Leave. Now. Do you agree with our choices? Those jackals are going to crucify me. What other hangouts of heinous hero haters should we have included? For more enthralling top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Goodbye, my friend.